Welcome to InfamNets. We take problem on strain energy and we consider comparison of strain energy in circular and square section. A problem statement is two elastic bars of same material and length, one of circular cross section of diameter 200 mm and other of square cross section of side 200 mm absorbs the same amount of strain energy delivered by axial loads. Compare the stresses in two cases. So let us note down the given data. We have two elastic bars, one is of circular section and other is of square section. The diameter of circular section is 200 mm and the side of square section is 200 mm. Both are, both are made of same material and same length. So the material properties that is the Young's modulus of both the section is same. We denote circular section by suffix C and square section by suffix S. So EC is equal to ES. Also since the length is same, we have LC equal to LS. It is also given that both the bars absorb same amount of strain energy. So we have UC, which is the strain energy absorbed by circular section, is same as that of US, which is the strain energy absorbed by square section. And in this problem, we have been asked to find the stresses in both the section and its comparison. So the comparison could be made if we can determine the ratio of sigma c by sigma s or sigma s by sigma c. So we'll go by this ratio. We'll determine the ratio of sigma c by sigma s. That is the ratio of stresses in the circular section upon stresses in the square section. So let's solve the problem. Solution. We start with this given relation that is strain energy in circular section is same as that of strain energy in square section. So we have UC is equal to US. Now writing the formula for strain energy absorbed due to axial load. We have sigma C square AC LC by 2 EC is equal to sigma S square AS LS by 2 ES. Since we know the formula of strain energy as sigma square AL by 2E. So in this relation we see that our EC is same as that of ES, so it gets cancelled. LC is same as that of LS, so it gets cancelled. And this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So we have sigma C square upon sigma S square is equal to AS by AC. Where AS and AC is a cross-sectional area of square and circular section respectively. So writing the formula for area we have sigma c square by sigma s square is equal to as is 200 into 200 that is side square and ac is pi by 4 into d square which is again 200 square. So we see that this 200 square and this 200 square gets cancelled so that we have the ratio of sigma c upon sigma s as square root of 4 by pi. Now this is equal to 2 by root pi. So we can write sigma c by sigma s is equal to 1.128. So this is our final answer. This shows that stress in circular section is more than that in square section. Thanks for watching in 5 minutes.